got a story here from BindingTheComics.com. Dark Horse Comics writer Christoph Bogak says you can't have a career in mainstream comics and be part of Comicsgate. I'm old enough to remember when they denied the, the existence of a blacklist in the comic book world. Well, apparently that was true. Anyway, there's his book. Bogax, who saw his Under Kingdom graphic novel get published at Dark Horse Comics in April, took to Twitter where he wrote, It worries me how many new creators think they can be part of... you got to put the little little symbols instead of Comicsgate. And still have a career in, in mainstream comics. You can't. Simple as that. He then accused members of Comicsgate of being abusive. Other creators and editors that aren't going to hire anyone associated with the group responsible for, I think is what he meant, but abusing them and their co-workers. Which is just... Sounds like a bunch of bullshit. And he goes on to say, This is real literal advice I had to give an indie creator who was surprised to hear Comicscape was controversial. Don't act dumb, it's fucking obvious what the movement is about. No one is going to buy that you simply didn't know. And of course, you know, he's got his, you know, smattering of people. And anyway, EVS, you know, chimed in. He says it's about protesting political discrimination in comics. I've heard numerous versions of what Comicscape is about. That's one of them. I could see it. And, you know, I mean... So, um, you know, anyway, he goes on to say, his, uh, uh, EVS responded to Bogak's assertion that Comicscape was about being abusive. Is that the record straight on that accord? Bogak is certain about not having a career in mainstream comics if you're part of Comicscape. Might be accurate, especially if you assume mainstream comics means Marvel Comics, DC, Image Comics, Dark Horse, etc. Uh, yeah, that's, that's mainstream comics. <laughs> but anyway, uh, basically, Mike S. Miller revealed the bounty in the comics that DC does indeed have a blacklist. He talks about how he was told point blank by Brian Augustine, yeah, oh yeah, there's a blacklist. The editors love pe putting people on the blacklist at DC. They've done videos of it. I'll link this in the description box. You can read it for yourself. But uh, back in 2018, Miller was initially banned from the Grand Rapids Comic Con. Marvel artist Mike Diodato offered praise for such taking such action. Blah blah blah. It goes on. Like I said, you could you could read this shit for itself. Or for itself, it, that's the letter they sent to him when they basically disinvited him to go to the Comic Con, which is ridiculous. You know, he, he's and Mike Diodato Jr. or whatever. This is part of the shit that's uh, ruining the comics industry. But anyway, then Chuck Dixon told about in the comics back all the way back in 2018 that these comic book publishing companies blacklist individuals for a personal, religious, or political belief. And that's the kind of thing where they've denied it. But now it's basically, it's, it's come out. It, we, we knew it all along. But now, just to have them talk about it and basically admit, yeah, it is true. You're not going to work for anybody in the mainstream if you're a part of Comics Gate or, or whatever. If you don't share our same viewpoints, same political opinions, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Like, you know, yeah. It's it's basically confirmed. But anyway, he goes on and he talks about most damaging in the long term is the hiring of staff and assigning of freelancers based on their political beliefs rather than any kind of merit. The result is the current crop of, frankly, mediocre efforts from companies that used to be the industry leaders. And he said this all the way back in 2018. It's gotten even worse now. It's hard to find even a, com a competently written and drawn comic alone, anything that could be called exemplary examples of the medium. Although they're handing out more awards than ever, but whatever. It goes, it goes on a little bit more. It talks about Joe Bennett basically getting blackballed and stuff because of a 2017 political cartoon he created in favor of Brazilian politician Jair Bolsonaro. But whatever. I probably butchered that name, but you know, no offense to no offense to anybody if I do butcher your name. I don't mean anything personal but it goes on and just basically talks about at the end what do you make of it appearing to confirm a comic skate blacklist exist eh, it's it's we already knew basically but i mean i guess it's good to have it confirmed i suppose but we already knew it it's just ridiculous you know there's a little they got a little related article about mark brooks it's you know and enough said about him he's, he's a twat so whatever but anyway like I said, i'll link this in the description box you can read it for yourself thank you very much for watching and have a good one